Good evening, boys and girls. We made it to the end of another week. Yes, we're a little late, but technology, technology sometimes can be a bit of a B-I-T-C-H. All right, Vinny, we've solved it now. Here we go. Mind the gap between the train and the platform. Please stand clear of the discussion doors. The next stop is Highbury Squad. It's that time of the week where the master is back for his live fan Q&A. Is everyone still buzzing after last night? We are here on HSHQ. Welcome back, my podcast brother from another mother, Mr. Super Kev, Super Kevin Campbell. Squaddies, good to see you. I hope you're going to enjoy the whole weekend because we don't play and we can watch everybody else hopefully struggle <laughs> at ease squaddies at ease at ease okay there is no time to waste today we do apologize um had a bit of a technical glitch something happening on the old stream yard this evening but here we go we're going to get stuck right into it let's not waste any time kevin says for the week here we go sophie and the squaddies get up sophie we are caught not even at ease. Question number one. We're going into it. Is Martin Odegaard proving to be one of our main players? Is Martin Odegaard proving to be one of our main players in the Arsenal team? Question number one. Is Martin Udegaard proving to be one of our main players? Good evening to all the usual suspects in the house. Welcome to Kev Says. Uh, I will keep this brief. I think that he has become our most important player. I believe that Udegaard um, is the type of player now that without him, what does it look like in terms of manifesting uh, an, a connectivity between the midfield and the forward line. But enough about what I think. Look at him. Yes, future captain right there is the O. And I love the god, Kev, with the O, the Norwegian alphabet O. I like that. That's good marketing right there. The fans are very quick to be smart, aren't they? Number eight was impressive. Terence says Udegaard is one of many important players. That's one, Terence. Uh, let's scroll up. Better. Do you remember when everyone wanted James Madison? <laughs> Not 75 that James, million. 75 look, million, so. Not that James Madison is a bad player. He's a hey, good Maddie player. Kay. We're not knocking him at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when we, we've got Ed Odegaard and people questioning him, weren't they? Yeah. <laughs> Rumour has it, Dan Potts almost smiled after the Wolves game. <laughs> Listen, Dan Potts was buzzing last night, let me tell you. I was I was speaking to him. <laughs> oh, brilliant stuff. Um, okay, let's get to some more of your Udegaard comments right here. Um uh Craig says Udegaard has got has got to have add more goals to his game. I agree with that. Uh, he does have to do that, Kev. Sometimes Everyone you want him to. But sometimes you want him to shoot and he kind of like old school Wenger, too many passes at the end you know what i mean um but hopefully that will come the more he feels I think it's a confidence his thing. ownership yeah I think it's um a confidence thing. winston says yes make him captain harvey says our own god uh you take skill and iq of ozil add in some leadership and work rate and you get martin udegaard i love it virginia welcome back he is one of our main players but not the most important player mm. mm -hmm. <laughs> He always was after Ozil left. Liam, love this show, love you both. Thank you, Liam. Thank you. We love you too. Um, Tammy says, most definitely, he orchestrated everything. Yesterday, 33 fivers. I, every time you come on 33 fivers, I want to be handed 33 fivers. <laughs> Him and party for me. Liz, welcome back, Liz. We've missed you. Um, yes, Martin is smooth as silk, moves and progresses the ball in super, super style. He has, he is our identity. What do you think about that, Kev? Well, that's a, 
That's an interesting one. I, 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 I love the way he plays. You, you know I'm a big fan of Erdegaard. Mm -hmm. And I know there's been... The reason why I asked this question as well, Sophie, was because I know there's some people who are kind of on the fence with Erdegaard. Yeah, I don't get that. But I think you'd be blind to say you can't see the influence he's having on our team. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, for so, sure. I, I, you know, I think he's a, he's, a, he's a definite baller. That's for sure. Definite. Don Juan says, where are the Madison clowns now? Where are the <laughs> ben ben Buendia, Buendia clowns? <laughs> um, Sean says, love this show so much. Don't ever stop. We won't. Oh, that's nice. Thanks, Sean. Lovely, Sean. Uh, Mo says, Udegaard is our maestro. Yes, I would say his creativity we've lacked for a long time. Uh, let's see who's next. Ugo Chukwu, uh, yes, he's very important to the team, at least one of the most important players in the team. Sophie, let me say this as well. I've yes. done this before the game. Yes. I've done this way before the game was played. I've done this in the morning and the game yes. was played, obviously, in the evening. So, yeah, good reminder you know, just to ask that, just to get that, that, that right. So, you, you know. Yes. Harold says he's the glue that also creates and spices things up. Demsek has to go to the little boys' room. Thank you for sharing, Demsek. Don't leave a puddle, whatever you do. Guna Rose, hello, Squaddy. So glad to be back. Nothing like a brilliant win to make you feel better. We Very true. Totally agree. Definitely a foundational player. Uda God, Elliot. We love that. David, hello. I liked him from last season at West Ham and he bossed it. Mm -hmm. I then knew he would be a good fit once he got settled. Christoph. Where are you, Christoph? There you are. Unquestionably, and Udegaard will truly shine. Um, players will catch up to him, picking up on his vision and rhythm. Kev, we've talked about his intelligence and always being... Ozil on his day was two steps ahead. So mm -hmm. it may look like Ozil was making a bad pass sometimes or Udegaard. Actually, no. The other players should be thinking... Not on their wavelength. That's the problem. Yeah. You've yeah. got to... and. I, I think this is going to be. I don't. I don't want to get into what All I'm right, saying. Don't do but it. I think it's. I think that what that point you made is very important. So very yes. important. Yes. Yes. Brady's banana. Yes. Nine point nine nine. We had a yesterday's show was incredible. We got a, a whole bunch of new subscribers, and we're just a couple of away from ten k. So thank you, Brady's banana, and thank you to all the new subscribers. Yeah. And everyone tuning thank in. Thank you ever so much. Absolutely. And for all those likes last night. I mean, it was absolutely fantastic the way it was going up. Thank you so yeah. much, everyone. Brilliant. Uh, Sunday says, yeah, what a, I love. If I was going to have a kid, I'd call it Sunday. Yes, Udegaard has proved the doubters wrong. Nobody is talking about Madison again. Jim, the best is yet to come from him. I True. tell you, where are the Wallies, Matty K? It's been very <laughs> quiet. Did Taib and Newman, let's hope they're okay. I'm not sure where they've been. They weren't here last night. Taib was for a few minutes. Um, Neil says, "What's what was with the Wolves player taking a selfie with the Arsenal fans? I never saw that. Which player was it, Neil? Yeah, who was Which that? Which player was it? Was it Neves or Pedence? Was it Neves or Neto? Or, or Pedence or Neto? We, we don't mind them three, I we tell you. We take them. We'll have them, I tell you. <laughs> Udegaard is a silky player. Vintage Ozil on the ball. Vincent said, I've always wanted him at Arsenal. He's class. Uh, more than a wheelchair says he's quality and captain material. Kev, are there a lot of, are, uh, yeah, I'm sure there is a lot of swearing on the pitch. Yeah. Oh no, p p no, no. It's, uh, please, can you pass me the ball? And if you've done something wrong, it's, oh, listen, better luck next time. Don't do that again. <laughs> Trust me, if you when you get into game mode, it's like change, oh. you change. And that's just the way you gotta demand yeah, of each God, other. You got funny. demand. <laughs> yes, Udegaard is like so oh, that's one of the biggest compliments I've ever had. I love Arne, that. Arnie, well said. <laughs> well said. Cre all the creativity <laughs> is over there. <laughs> Sorry, over there. <laughs> Guna Rose wanted to add Kev, something you've said. He's gonna be instrumental when we get top. Oh strikers. Rose, you're taking my <laughs> You're reading my things. <laughs> well said. Well done, though, Rose. Well Th said. Thanks for Definitely. joining us, Daniel. Oh, I'm not sure about smooth as my nan's legs. Wow, that's interesting. Mm. Have Any some respect, <laughs> Terrence. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Any pot... 
Oh, gosh. Okay, he's back. There we go. Thank you, Newman. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Any Potter fans in the live chat would love a trivia to make it interesting. Missed all the squad, he says. Liz, hello, good people. Hi, Kev. Yes, love the hat. Thank you very much, uh, Shade. Od- Odie feels like a classic Wenger signing. Um, Udegaard is a smooth operator on the ball. The player he is and the way he carries himself, I wouldn't be surprised if Arteta makes him captain next season. Wouldn't surprise us either. The tortoise and the hare. <laughs> Udegaard versus Madison. Udegaard, Madrid must be pissed they sold him so cheap. Oh, we don't care. Well, he's developing now. He's playing, you see. Mm-hmm. And, and this is... Uh, uh, this is what I want people to understand. When when players like this are at a club like Real Madrid, they have the talent. Yes. But it's, it needs to develop. And so they play, they're in the team one minute and then they're out the team. They're out the team for long stretches. How, how is this young man going to develop? He's, he's an international player, so we get some games. But during the season, he doesn't get enough football. He needs to play. And now we're starting to come into his own because he's playing regularly. You see his qualities. We really see them. Also, really. Kev, at Real Madrid, you're contending with players like Modric and, you know, there's Casemiro, or, Casemiro. Cruz. It's, it's, I mean, these, it's not that these you're are, not good are, enough. It's just yeah, that... They, they, these are world-class. And these guys are world-class players for years. Yes, you know, established. Triple, triple, triple... Um, Champions League winners. Yes. You know, they've won it three years in a row, so. It's crazy. So. Crazy. It's hard, hard, to, di- hard to dislodge them. From the we, we said this on the show the other day, transition from trust the process to trust the progress. Um, listen, don't get me saying positive shit about Arteta, all right? <laughs> Harold so, Football. So- <laughs> I could smell, yeah, smell, uh, I could smell. I could smell the pie. <laughs> the trolls are hiding under the bridge <laughs> for the next mistakes we make. You know, I'm not. I'm not into that at all. Anyone who just wants the team to trip up to be right, you're not a gooner. Shame on you. Go home. Go support Tottenham. If you stop Udegaard, you don't stop Arsenal. No, that's true. But that's a good thing. Mm. Not only is he creative, but it's not all down to Erdegaard. Yeah, we do have that's a good weapons thing. elsewhere. That's a good thing. That's really important. So, yeah. you know, yeah. Saka could come up, or Martinelli, <laughs> or Smith Rowe, or Lacazette last night can come up with something. Pepe's doing bits off the bench. Yes. It's important for us. We need our weapons. Yes, very, very good point, Super Kev. Um, the fake Arsenal fan, Hugh, um, Newman, is back. Actually, someone on YouTube wrote, they don't believe that Taib and Newman are actually Arsenal fans. <laughs> Jermaine says, evening squad. He's got my little princess off to bed. Big ups. Oh, bless her. No, May bless. she have the sweetest, sweetest dream, uh, dreams, yeah. Jermaine. And have a lovely weekend. Need a sticker and then we will see. Striker, I think. Oh, yeah. He, he, he would have meant striker. St- I just read them as they come. No, no, I oh, know. It probably would have been the Panini sticker. We need a Panini sticker. <laughs> Oh, hilarious. Okay. Remember when you used to have to wait for the badges, the Kev, silvery badges, you remember? <laughs> Kev, I used to save my money and my dad would be like, why are you spending your money on stickers? Yeah. Like, the, you know, that Greek oh, no. stickers. <laughs> I'd be, dad, it's not stickers. It's the panini. It's like an album. I'm going to have, yeah. they're going to be collect- I They're worth really a lot re- of money now, you know, so. I regret not have, saving my Panini They're sticker They're worth books. a lot of money now. Swapsies in the playgrounds and all oh, that. And you used to have, yes. you used to have like eight of one player, like, you know. <laughs> yes, I've got Liam Brady like five oh, times. Who do you need? Wow. Yeah, oh, brilliant, <laughs> brilliant days. <laughs> um, the first question was, has Udegaard uh, become uh, our most important player? Is he, yeah. Is he proving to be a main player? Yeah. He's basically what an Arsenal dream should look like. I like that. Mo, um, notice when Udegaard plays, the team doesn't seem unsure on the ball. Very good. He was. And you know what? A lot of our players do not hide. Even Gabriel yesterday made the massive mistake in the first half. Did he hide? No. 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 And that's, and that's character. Yes. That, that right there, Sophie, sh- is showing the character of this team. That's why I, th- I thought... Last night was our best win of the season. Yeah, you were very vocal about that. Demsex says, while Udegaard is key up front, Xhaka allows Party to do his stuff. Hit the likes, you slacker, says Mr. I think it's the other Waffles. way around, mate. 
<laughs> I think it's the other way around. I think his party allows Jacker to do his stuff. <laughs> Either way, that's another important partnership in this team. Key, for the that's rest a of the key season. partnership. Yeah, key. Xhaka is good for now, but not good for tomorrow. I think we all agree on that. Mm -hmm. Udegaard reminds me of a young KDB. <sighs> that's spicy. Or as James Johnston would say, that's saucy. Uh, the, ball from, the, ball, the ball from Udegaard over the top to Eddie. Uh, Pepe used to beg for that kind of ball. Oh, you know, yes, I'm just saying. Listen, let's have it right. Pepe played in the team with Udegaard before, so stop it. Not a lot, though. Doesn't matter. He still played, so stop it. Now that we got Pepe, now that his attitude's right, let's see what he can do. Because he looks hungry now, so. All right. All right. He looks hungry. I'll accept that. Adiloe, I just subscribed. Already love your content. Yes. Oh, we love you. that. Thank Epic. you. Thank uh, you. A better DM would see party play than better. Okay, that's fine. He's not nowadays, but he's not a nowadays Burkamp, really. Burkamp didn't score that many. He oh, that's, yeah, interesting. Yep. Yeah. It's what, I suppose it's what these these flair players, it's what they actually bring to the team, isn't it? Because Burkamp didn't have to score sometimes. It was just that ability to pick someone out that you're just like, wow. What have I what have I just witnessed? He's just yeah. he's just wrong footed the defense and Freddie's gone through or Thierry's gone through and, and stuck it in the net. So that's what we need from Erdegaard. But uh you know, it's coming. Okay, Kev, we've clarified that it was uh, Jimenez taking a picture with Mexican fans who had travelled over to see the game. So he wasn't taking selfies. Well, he was taking selfies. You could be an Arsenal fan and love with, Mexico. With, yeah, so you that's know, the connection, the team. Mexico that's connection. The, that's the con if only Vlavic could have joined us. Woof. You know, now people are saying, look, I don't want to go too far. But, um, Kev, now it's like, can we finish third? It's like, stop. <laughs> well, stop, if stop, you remember stop. rightly, I did say this, Soph. What we've got to be doing, when once, if we get above United, because we have I've got games in hand, but we've still got to get there, then we've got to be looking at Chelsea. We can't be looking behind us, Soph. We've got to be looking at Chelsea. And don't forget... Sophie, we've got them to play. They are they are not firing on all cylinders, Sophie. I'm not. No, I'm not, not. I'm not frightened of Chelsea. You know, even I'm our not. good friend, even our good friend of the show, Jason Cundy, who's always honest, he said we haven't even been playing that great this season. It, it, Jason said, ever since Chilwell and Reese James have gone out, Chelsea have become bang average, and he has no idea how they're staying in games and winning them. And I think that's really honest and accurate. For sure, because they're a good. It's because they're a good team. They've got good players. So, but the actual cohesion and continuity of their team is yeah. not the same. All right, let's put up the second video. Keep those comments coming. All three hundred of you in live chat on this fri fine Friday evening. Super Kev, of course. Um, question number two. Here we go. Question number two. Should Emil Smith roll? Being the first eleven now, should he start now? On nine goals, really good goal scoring season. Look the part. Should he be starting now? Question number two. Question number two. Um, love that. Lots of Panini sticker comments coming in as well. Um, Newman being very creative about what to do with uh, Panini stickers <laughs> if you had a bunch of Jackers to trade. Very interesting. Uh, okay. Oh, no. let's. <laughs> yeah. I think you. I think you know where that went. Was I get. Going. I get the drift of that one. <laughs> And a lot of the fans in the chat, Kev, are thinking third is possible, but I think we should hover before we can fly. Hey, like I say, we've got to you've got to go for it. If you once you get into that fourth spot, if we do if we do, then you have to be looking above you. Don't be looking behind you, because you look behind you, they'll pass you. Who's in front? That's who we go for. Kev, do you agree with your old teammate, um, Dicko, that Tony will be telling the dressing room that aim Aim for Chelsea, not Man U. One hundred percent, one hundred percent. 
always think of the positive, so because yeah. we can catch them and we've got them to play, and they've they still got big games to, to to go as well. So do you know what? We've seen them struggle. Yeah. So we've seen them struggle. You know, they haven't got Lukaku who go in. You know, they've they've won some games, but they are not the same team as we played earlier on in the season. That's for sure. They're not. Right. So Matty K, this show is coming next week. Kev is on fire right now. Do you remember when a few folks in chat were giving Kev a hard time for predicting win, 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 win? When we... <laughs> Don't say nothing. Sophie, there's still two more games to go. And you know what? You can imagine. You can imagine you bigging me up today and then we lose against Watford or drop point. Yeah, you see, you Kev Campbell. You, you deluded Campbell. I know how it goes. All right, so the answers to your question about Emil Smith Rowe, yes, says Terence. Yes, says Matthew. No, says Sean. Martin says ESR should start over Martinelli at this time. Not always no, run with cows. Yes, against Watford. Fluking the CL has papered over the cracks of how poor Chelsea are in the league. Mm -hmm, interesting. Rotate with Martinelli, says Matty K. Mm. Um, Safiri subscribed last night and I must say you guys are top tier Arsenal fan all the way from South Africa nice one we love God this God bless you Safiri thank you absolutely Terence says ESR should start ahead of Martinelli yes but who do you drop asks Tammy well Martinelli is the obvious one isn't it Kev Sophie here's the here's the big problem now you got Pepe doing bits yeah. and people <laughs> saying it. Pepe should be in. Guess get him in. He knows where the goal is. Blah blah blah. His stats tell you that he's he's productive. So who who would be a manager, Sophie? Eh? I know. But you know what? We've been waiting for this moment, Kev. Competitions in all areas. This is what makes City and Pep so great. He's always got players competing for spots. Competing for spots. Yeah. I mean, Liverpool were complacent for a while, but Klopp has developed that mentality at Liverpool too. Of course, you know, Salah and Mane. But Jota now, adding him, developed a lot of competition for me. Don't Mino's forget Origi used Arigi. to come off the bench and do a bit yep. from time to time. Yeah. That which really helped. Now Jota's come in. Jota's put everybody on notice, hasn't he? Yes. Um, so is this true? I saw this and I didn't want to say anything until it was confirmed. But apparently Emil Smithrow has the bug, Kevin. Do you have a touch of it? Well, it'll be it'll be all right. I think it's, it's what is it, five days now, isn't it? He has beer to have flu. a test. And if he's yeah. all right after yeah, beer flu. If he has a five if he has a test and he's negative, then he has an he has another one, then he they passes the protocol so we can go back to training. So hopefully he's not too bad. Hopefully. Yeah. Kev, what bad. do you think about the um, le left uh, rather than the, the, the cam role for him? The... Yeah, look, I, 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 me personally, I think he gets, because of the traffic sometimes starting as a, as a 10, sort of attacking midfielder where Erdegaard's playing right now, I think there's a lot of traffic there. I think Smith Rowe has that ability and running power to pick up little pockets off the wide area. Mm -hmm. It allows Kieran Tierney to get outside of him. But you see where he picked it up when he scored against um, against Brentford. He picked it up in a little pocket and then he could drive. Very rarely, if he picks it up, he could drive like that without engaging a midfielder. You understand what I mean? Yeah, yeah, interesting. When he picks it up, he picks it up and he's engaging the defender. A midfielder's coming to help, but he's at he's actually getting in the box. Mm -hmm. So that little shimmy in between them and then the finish, picking up in the centre of the pitch, he won't be able to do that because there'll always be bodies there. So yeah. maybe I think him playing from the left will suit him better right now. Yeah, I, th I would agree with that. And I'm not going to argue with you on that. I mean, seriously, who's going to argue with Super Kev on tactics? Not me. Uh, Daniel says, yes, I think he's actually ahead of Saka and Martinelli. I kept that up because I thought that was interesting, Kev. Yeah, I think Daniel means because of it, obviously his goal scoring ratio has been excellent, hasn't it? Off top the bench. Scorer. He's, the, he's our top scorer. You know, yeah. Emil Smith Rowe got the number 10. People, are, you know, he shouldn't get the number 10. Well, he's proving he's, wor he's worth it. Yeah. He's proving he's worth it. 
Jorge believes we can catch Chelsea too. Christoph says Emil Smith Rowe over Gabby right now. Yes, false choice uh, have to uh, to make. Uh, Glenn says it's a hard question, but I say continue to rotate. Uh, TT says we should concentrate on the next game instead of getting carried away. Um, hey, come on, Terence, Terence, Terence. Getting that... carried away. Getting carried away. How? Didn't I warn everyone? Asking, asking not... if Smith Rowe should start. How is that getting carried away? I warned everyone yesterday not to take the jam out of my donut, Kev, and now they're trying to take the halloumi out of my sandwich. No, no. And I like halloumi, so I love halloumi. Leave, out, leave it out, Terry. <laughs> okay, Mo says, uh, though the question regarding... Um, tough, I think tough he says, question. tough question. Uh, I would say he's our top... He is our top scorer. There's no mm -hmm. denying that. Jamal... Honestly, Kev, I don't care which 11 Mikel chooses. He has more knowledge than most of us. Well, most of us, but not Kev, maybe. Yes, I think Emil Smith-Rowe should be starting. He's delivering every time he plays. He's so special. Mm. And to hear, like, last night, your mate, Jamie uh, O'Hara... And, yeah. and Jason on the sports bar, they were waxing lyrical about him. They were like, they were talking about Saka and Emil Smith Rowe, special, special players. They were talking about, I would pay money to go watch those two players if I'm an Arsenal fan. And then they were talking about Champions League and they're like, these guys are going to have time to shine because there was an Arsenal fan that phoned up questioning Emil Smith Rowe and they both just jumped to the defense of him. So Kev, the fact that opposing fans can see just how special these two are. It's, it's, it's been a while for us. Oh, yeah. And you know what, Sophie? The fact of the matter is they're homegrown. They're our own. Yeah. You know, they come off the Arsenal vine. Do you know what I mean? They yeah, come off the, the Kalen, the Arsenal vine. They're our produce. Yeah. And, you know, opposition fans look at them and they see the quality of these youngsters, Sophie. And they marvel at it because these boys are saving Arsenal a fortune. Fortunes. Absolute yeah. fortune. Now we don't have to look at a right midfielder, you know, winger. We don't have to look at, you know, a, a, a left sider because mm -hmm. we can get away with Martinelli or uh, Smith Rowe or Pepe or, or Saka. We could get away with all that. Now we could really concentrate on some of them key positions where we need people in the Definitely. summer. Definitely. So. Uh, Ronnie says he thinks if he wasn't sick yesterday, he would have started. I, I agree with that. Um, ESR over Saka. Saka isn't look, looking good as recently. A lot of pressure on Saka. He's so young and so hyped. We don't want a Michael Owen. Aim High says Christoph. Cliff was calling for Emil Smith Rowe when William was there. I mean, Pepe should have started more than William. Let's be honest. Um, Emil Smith Rowe can start, but it depends on the game because at the moment we have Gabby Emil and Pepe. And that's a good competition. Agree with you, um, o Oko Chukwu. I love your name. Well um, said, Kev, so, Kev well, pronounces well it better than me. Um, I'm Oko almost Chukwu, getting there. Yeah. All right, I'll keep your comments coming up. We'll get to the third question. Um, he's earned his start in 11, says Diawu. Yes, says uh, Yanni. Um, if you start ESR, who do you drop? No, Laka's not going to be dropped, guys. He's our no captain. Chance. It's not happening. He does, he does too much. Yeah. A, a lot of folks talking about him being a top scorer, Kevin, that he deserves to start. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people are going after Chelsea as well, Kev. No doubt about it. Right, guys, keep them coming. I'll put up your comments. And now here we go with Super Kev and his dicky bow looking as slick as ever with question number three. Question number three. Rumours are Mikel Arteta is going to be offered a, a new three-year contract. Are the club making the right move, in your opinion? It's all about opinions. Is the club making the right move to secure Mikel Arteta? That's question three. So let's recap. Question number one. Is Martin Odegaard proving to be a main player for the Arsenal? Question number two. Should ESR start now? Question number three, are Arsenal making the right move securing Mikel Arteta for another three years? That's it. Sophie, I don't want you to be pulling the samurai out, but if anybody gets unruly and I can't <coughs> brock them up, <whistles> get the samurai out. You know what to do. Off with their head. 
Squaddies, I love you. Look after yourself. Let's get busy in the comments and let's do battle. All right? And that's for you, Sophie. Get up! <laughs> Scared the bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I got you at the first and at the end. That's what I wanted to do. So I thought that was it with the first one, Kev. The first one, yeah. Um, I could imagine, yeah. And then the second one, I was like, oh, okay, it came early. It came early this time. <laughs> and then just as I was ready to just be like, okay. Just, kind of... just to go back down and chill yeah, out. Then it just went, <laughs> <laughs> got me again. <laughs> Always keeping me on my on your toes. toes. Um, okay, here we go. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to start putting your comments up. Um, it's not like you, Sof. Come on, you only... I... <laughs> you can't wait, can you? I can't, I it. though. <laughs> uh, um, okay, so my, my two cents is I would just wait until what happens at the end of the season. Um, why do that now? Yes, he's done a good job, and I don't think you can argue with the progress the process has made. Um, but if we fail to qualify for Europe, if we end up finishing eighth again, what does that mean? I just don't understand. Here's your one of your attorneys. Deserves a 10-year contract, says Virginia. She oh, Virginia. <laughs> bless you. Yes, 100%. Um, okay. Let's see. Well-deserved, says Terence. Um, wow, did we hit 10K while we were on air? Is that is oh. that true? That's amazing. Congratulations on the oh thanks, Craig. Thanks for letting thanks us know. Amazing. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Ten well over ten thousand squaddies. Boom. God bless you. And that is let's get going. <laughs> Brilliant. Four hundred in live chat as well tonight. Thanks Fantastic. to everyone for joining us. Oh, Sid Ant's come back from more pain. I'm sorry I couldn't watch the Arsenal game last night as our team was playing in Europe. <laughs> Hey, so not for I love long. It. Not for long. <laughs> oh my God, that's excellent. Martin says, Sidant takes lots of pictures. No telling when you will see Europe again. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Um, David says, yes, but give him two years. 100% behind Arteta is Sean. Um, yes, if the club buys players for him. To be honest with you, I think Arteta would take that new contract without being told you're going to get 200 million to spend in the transfer market. I, I think he. I think I it's think a different mentality. I think he's yeah. He's he's de he's dedicated to his job. Yeah. That's for sure. So he's Daniel says, okay, so he's answering the ESR Martinelli question that it's a, a tough one. Hugh says it's the wrong move. He should get top four before getting a new contract. No, Arteta is a stopgap in my opinion. Says Anthony Chrysostomo. Yeah, so Anthony El Piso Galana. He said, "Good evening, Sophie and Kev. Still think Pepe should play more? Yeah, me too. I think he could be our trump card. Like I said, I think we should wait till the summer." Says Ask. Yes, 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 says Avon. Phoebe says Arteta is doing a great job compared to Conte at the Spuds. Niles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Conte was lauded, wasn't he? Yes, and rightly so. He deserves to be lauded. He's won everything. Not his <laughs> fault. That... Don't care what he's done before. What have you done for me lately? Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, but it's happened to Ancelotti, Rafa oh, Benitez, well, Conte. Sophie. Sophie. You say it's the players. Cont oh, no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh oh, here we go. All I'm saying is he was lauded. Rightly He's so. He's going to get them going, rightly so. But not much is happening over there, it's, is it? It's the players, Kev. Uh, it, it is the players, Sophie. But the buck stops with the manager. Like it did when we finished eighth and eighth under Arteta. That's right. Bonzo says, yes, Arteta's the man. GD says, yes, he's got to keep developing these young players. Liz says, yes to the boss. We're progressing and the dressing room is smelling sweet these days. You know what I did like is yesterday when he was coming out with his car and I think it was his wife with, wife with him in the car and all the Arsenal fans were singing his song. And I, even I was like, that's nice. Because he doesn't really get it much, does he? So What's happening to me? Someone about... check my temperature. <laughs> Can you uh, smell it over there? 
Yes, it's the right move, says Demsec. A contract can be terminated at any time. A thousand Very percent, true. says Raid. Um, he, we, yes, he may not get where we want, but he's the only one that will fix this club and set it up for future titles. Udegaard, the best captain next season. And yes, MA all the way. ESR starts, but make sure he recovers. Yes, hopefully. God, God bless him and let's hope he's going to be okay. No rush. We can wait till the end of the season. See where we finish, says Knuckles. Uh, Saludin, it's a long-term decision. They're making the right move. Uh, Mr. Bungle. All right, Pepe needs to start. Brock the next says GD. <laughs> yes, GD. Uh, Arteta trusts the process. He has a mammoth task for a novice manager and he's coping well. Um, Brenton, Arteta seems to be the man with a plan. Harold says teams, not only Arsenal, should stop this manager. He deserves to keep his job. Hey, listen, this is going to start happening now. You know, people want Klopp started with the admiration of Saka and, you know, Villa, the Emil Smith Rowe and Martinelli and Klopp and all that jazz. It's going to start with Arteta. Barcelona. Manchester City. It's coming. Mm. Despite making some mistakes in the past, which he acknowledged, I believe the progress is there for all to see. He deserves a new contract. Matty K says one billion trillion. However many zeros that is, you should get a new contract. The one billy. Is, Love it, just, Matty. It's just <laughs> one <starting>. billion. <laughs> wow. Everyone wants to give him a new contract. Yanni says yes. Um, good good week, Super Kev. Clutch wins and Campbell goals. Yeah. Seven really goals that. between uh, six. Five, wait. Five goals. Five, five goals. goals. Five goals. Five goals this them. week for the Campbells. Yeah. Um, what makes, makes Mustafa happy is the fighting mentality. Um, I, we agree with that. Well so, said, Mustafa. Well Samurai said. Sophie strikes back. Yeah, just like the <laughs> Empire. Don't really understand why people get their knickers in a twist over manager contracts. Every manager who's ever been sacked had a contract. It doesn't matter. Nice one, Dublin Gooner. Well said. All right, let's keep these rolling. And Kev is going to get into answering his own questions now. But Kev, overwhelming support. Um... It's nice to see as well, Sophie, because you know what, Soph? Of course he's been under pressure. Of course us not getting players in in January was a bit worrying for the fan base. Mm -hmm. But do you know what I always say? Do you remember what I always say, Sophie? What's the cure? <laughs> Winning. Winning cures all. Winning does. It makes you... Look, if we'd have lost that game yesterday, I guarantee some of these might have been a little bit more negative. Yes. But when you're winning, Solf, and you're on a run of three wins on the spin, when's the last time we've done that? Won three, three times on the spin, just like that. I think it was earlier on in the season when we went on a run of 11. Yeah. We, we had some draws to go on in that... there too, didn't we? No, no, but I'm just saying at the start yeah. of that, you know, we we went. I think it was we went three games, didn't we? Because we played Burnley, Norwich, Burnley, and Spurs. Do you remember? And Spurs, yeah. And we won three times. We need to win five on the spin minimum now, Sophie. Yeah. Five on the spin minimum. Um, and thanks, Newman. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Newman. Uh, I, I knew what was coming from that. But Sophie, look, is Martin Odegaard proving to be a main player for Arsenal? You bet your life he is. You bet your life he is. We talk about economical play. We talk about someone who presses, someone who's got that mentality to, to work, someone who has got that touch, that silkiness to keep the ball moving. I think I mentioned to you and you liked it. He just lends it. He lends the ball and gets it back. He put past it, he gets it back. He is a continuity player that we've lacked. For so He's such a different player in there than Smith Rowe. We know what Smith Rowe is. Smith Rowe's a dribbler. He gets the ball, he can pass, but he likes to dribble. From the centre of the pit, Sophie, sometimes you're in a lot of traffic. But when you see somebody like Erdegaard just stroking it around in there, finding the little pockets, getting little slip passes, and you know what? That pass, perfectly weighted pass to Eddie and Ketia. Good run by Eddie. He picked him out. Eddie cut it back. Pepe, one touch finish. What a fantastically worked goal. You know, a lot of people don't talk about the move. You've watched it again. I've watched it again. I was just like, Odegaard, great spot. Great yeah. spot. So, David David mentioned earlier, now that he's settling in, I think Odegaard needed to play and settle in a bit more because he was alone last season. Now I think he's... 
he's 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 got his second wind of the club now. So mm -hmm. I truly believe playing with Partey and playing with Xhaka, okay, he under he, he he knows his role now. Whereas before there was a time where he wasn't in the team. I think Erdegaard knows his role. He knows exactly what to do. And don't forget, this Wolves defence is the second best in the league. Yeah. That's why I, I truly believe Saka and Martinelli didn't have great games yesterday because they're up against experienced team who know how to defend. But the adjustment and the substitutes made a real difference, gave us a little bit of energy. And um, obviously, Erdegaard picked out Eddie, Eddie to Pepe, goal. Pepe picked out Laka, obviously, goal. So, Martin Odegaard is instrumental and he is one of our main players. I'm not saying he's our best player, but he's one of our main players. One of our players where, if he's not on the team sheet, you think, well, where is he? That's yeah. what I do. If he's not on the team sheet, I think, where is he? So, I think he's been, he's been excellent so far and he is one of our main players. Definitely. And, and also, Kev... He could have had a sweet goal yesterday too. It just clipped the top of the. Um, That's right, the, the bar. bar. Yeah. When he's when he's was in, and you know what you you tend to find, he's getting himself into the box. Yeah. Quite a bit more. So, that's that. Did, did someone just put, I'm contradicting myself? Yeah, ne Newman did, and Virginia wants you to brock my neck. I don't know what I've done though. <laughs> Virginia, please enlighten me. What is Sophie up to? I think eh? it was the Conte conversation. Yeah, oh, maybe. right. Yeah, because, oh, <laughs> right. Yeah, well, there you go. But I, listen, for just for Newman, just so I could mention his name, because he likes when I mention his name. <laughs> I don't need to contradict myself, because you know what? I know what I say. I remember what I say. Unlike you, Newman, some people, or you're just predictable anyway, isn't it? It's, that's just the norm. So that's Martin Odegaard. So. People also think, Kev, that I've gone a bit loopy because I'm complimenting Arteta. They, they're wondering if I'm okay. But yeah, carry, carry Have on. Have you been drinking out of Kev's mug? <laughs> hey, at least you didn't call me a mug. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, oh, really? so. Yes. Should ESR start now? I, I think he's earned the right to start. I really do. And you know what, Sophie? I think that th that three five two or three four three system, however we want to play it, would suit Emil Smith Rowe big time. Because hmm. there's extra players in that midfield who we can dovetail with. Can he play left? Of course he can. But I think we could start getting our best players on the pitch. If we could get all of our best players on the pitch, Sophie, I think we could be a big hit mm -hmm. at times. So there are times where Smith Rowe obviously can play wide. But that 3-5-2 that we finished with, we were asking them some serious questions. And they couldn't handle it, being Wolves. And they got the second best defensive record in the, in the league. Yeah. So, well done to us for adjusting. Well done to Pepe for coming on scoring and assisting. Well done for Eddie. Well done for everybody yesterday. After going a goal down, coming together. But ESR, Sophie, our top scorer, and he's not starting. I think he should be. I think he's deserved it now. He I, should I, be starting. I don't see how you can't. And I agree with the listener that said earlier, if he'd have been well, he would have started that game. You can't be the top scorer. You can't be scoring more goals than a hundred million pound signing of Lukaku. He scored more goals than Lukaku this season. Mm. That's incredible. Um, considering that he's also just kind of getting into the groove of that. And Kev also great comment about that and yesterday you also said which I think is important for people to know Wolves had never lost from that position before that's right being 1-0 up at mm -hmm. half time they'd never this, lost yep this season yep. this season so you know it's, uh, right. it's 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 a listen it's a massive compliment to us the way we approach the second half and the way we we dealt with them really important win for us and let me get to the last do you agree with Arteta Getting offered a new contract, is it the right thing to do for the club? Sophie, I think it is. I think it is the right thing for the club. I think it helps with momentum. It helps with the players. So the players are not even going to think, 
Will he be here? Won't he be here? He's going to be here. If they need to pull the trigger, Sophie, I think if they if they want to sack him, then they're going to sack him anyway. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I mean? I don't think the contract is a be-all and end-all of anybody um, as a manager. But one thing I will say about him and the team, Sophie, the squad, they're playing for him, Sophie. They yes. are playing for the manager. And this is so important. We know that he... He had a lot of work to do. There was a lot of dead wood. Has he made mistakes? Of course. Yeah. Sophie, you, you show me the person who's made no mistakes. The person who's made no mistakes has never, has never been involved. They've never contributed. Because con making mistakes and contributions are part of growth. You need to be able to make mistakes to grow. And this team, hopefully, especially this lad, has learned from his mistakes and we're growing as a team, as a young team, youngest team in the league. We're learning under this manager. We're learning to be ruthless. We're learning to be tougher. We're learning to we're learning to handle the pressure as well, Sophie. These youngsters have been unbelievable. Let's be honest, Sophie. They've been incredible. Gabriel made a mistake, but came through it. You know, we came through it with a win. Thomas Pye, I, the, the Rolls Royce, I, I just think, you know, we, we sometimes take what he does for granted, honestly. I watched it again, Solf, and <laughs> the guy was, he was incredible. He was incredible. Xhaka played well, you know, that platform in midfield. And yeah, listen, there's still going to be detractors, Solf. I get it. Of course there are. But as a football club, you see what's happening. You see that last night. You see the way the players are playing for the manager and you just think, okay, if we take our time and we wait, how do you know somebody else might not come and turn his head? Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden you're saying, well, why didn't we just sign him? So I think it's the right thing to do. You know, it's great to see, it's great to see Pepe come back with the right attitude as well and he's making a difference. So... I know there's been people at Loggerheads, Arteta's treated this one bad and that one good and all this, but it's all part and parcel of management. It is all part and parcel. You can't treat everybody the same, although people want to be treated all the same. Unfortunately, it's not, it's not possible. So fair play to Mikel Arteta uh, for, for getting the boys up to a level that they can scrap and battle against a tough wolf side. That no other team's done that against them. And we done it. We're the first. And to do the double over them. So well done. Brilliant stuff. Absolutely superb stuff. Um, Super Kev. You know, there's no doubt. Gunaras just said and everyone's saying, we do feel like a team. Um, and seeing everyone celebrate uh, yesterday was the way they did. The togetherness of all of that it's been a while since arsenal have had that togetherness that tenacity that overall vibe and feeling of really playing like a, a squad and not as individuals not being selfish and apathetic and just looking out for themselves and you could go through this guy forget about it and then players that come in from the wilderness and perform so did you see that picture of ramsdale on Twitter. Yeah. I have it. And I'm trying to find Neves. it. I loaded it and I can't f find it. I loaded this one. And then I think the other one eluded me. <laughs> I found this one too. In my phone. Oh, baby Kev. <laughs> love it. Love it. Love it. <laughs> you, uh, yeah. I also found this one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Kev, that picture of him celebrating in and front Neves of Neves. And Neves is there, you like, oh, you know, brilliant. yeah, and he's he's looking oh, at him, isn't he? Yeah, Have you got yeah. it? No, oh, that's it's a great this picture. Is, this is a great picture as well. I love this one um, very, very much. Uh, but yeah, it's a great picture. I think it's on my phone, and I didn't put it into the into the box. But it's really just, yeah, um, it's really amazing how we've really evolved as a group. And I know Arteta gets a lot of credit, right? 
And he, he does deserve that because the culture of the club is really evolving and change. But I tell you, Kev, these new players, their personal culture, their professionalism, their DNA, it's something else. And Adu deserves credit too for what he's done. He's come under fire as well, Kev. Big time. Do you remember? Everybody mm -hmm. was saying, you know, Edu out. He was getting some stick from fans, wasn't he? Yeah. At the games and stuff, you know. But listen, Sophie, one thing we do know, although we don't like to admit it sometimes, we know these things take time. These things mm -hmm. take time. We, You know, if you're having renovations done on your house, you can't just go to sleep one day and wake up and it's going to be done. It takes time and you're going to see the dust. And you're going to see if you have a wall knocked down or, you know, it's not going to look pleasant. But over time, it starts to get done and it starts, you start to see what's going. You start to think, hmm, very nice. And then you might, you know, they might uncover something that you need, you need something extra. So, or you might come up with, actually, why don't you do this? This is the stage where we're getting to in the summer, aren't we? We're getting to that stage. We need, we need to, we need to qualify, Sophie. We need to qualify. We want that Champions League spot. Of course we do. But we need to qualify for Europe minimum, right? Yes. That's what we would say. Minimum, yes. we need to qualify for Europe. Yes. But that then gives us the impetus to go into the transfer market and beef this squad up yeah. so we can challenge, sustain a challenge and not play lesser players in the FA Cup or the Cup games. We can be just as strong by moving things around. Yeah. I completely agree. It's going to be, again, another pivotal window that we evolve, we grow, we back up, you know, building on this squad, these players. Imagine, like, a, a, we're going to need two strikers, like you said, Kev. We need one that's really prolific. If we had a 20-a-season goal striker again, oof, you know, uh, make sure that we've got cover in, in the centre-back position. We're going to need midfield. We're going to need a, a, another cover at right-back. Mm -hmm. There's a shopping list to do. And I, I think now we've gotten to a point where fans, seeing what the club have done, we didn't panic in January. They doubled down. So far, it's worked out, okay, mm -hmm. um, that they're trusting that they're going to do the right thing in the summer now, even maybe the sceptics. I've never worried about what we do in the transfer market. I've just worried about what a manager who's finished eighth and eighth would do with the players that he has in the league. Mm. But this season with his players, against, with the fans, with, with the fans back as well. Yeah. And against the United, against the Tottenham, against the resurgent West Ham, um, you know, teams like Wolves clipping at everyone's heels that competitiveness outside of Chelsea, Liverpool and Manchester City, which has been a whole bunch of teams. I don't think anyone can deny at this point, whether you've agreed or disagreed with Arteta, that we are not a better team than we have been. I just, mm. I just can't see how you would see that. And if you're, it's important that, you know, we build on that, Kev, and we don't waste the moment, you know, because yeah. it would be a real... Real shame. The scouting department agree, Mo. It's been brilliant. And and you know something else as well, Sophie. That Wolves are a, Wolves have been a serious serious team. They're going to give West Ham a game on, on at the weekend. Trust me. I bet they're they win that give, game. They're going to give them as much as they can handle. Because one thing they don't do, they don't concede easy. Yeah. And they'll think... always catch you on the break. Yeah. Um, Taiwo, I don't think it's ridiculous to accept Europa League football. That's a lot of money that comes in with Europa League football. And it's a, it's a vehicle back into Champions League football. And we signed Aubameyang, Lacazette, Gabriel, Tierney, Partey, um, Pepe with Europa League football. Sophie, Taiwo, here's one for you then. If we don't, how is finishing in a Europa League spot a loser's mentality? Yeah, I, not for us. Because champion, Champions League must be a loser's mentality as well then. Because he's not, not winning anything. Kev, if... if um, it's madness. If, if City finished in the Europa League spot, that would be shocking and disappointing to Manchester City at of this course. point, right? Of course, when we 
fell out of Europe, that's disappointing to us as a club because we've been in Europe for 20 yes. plus years. Yeah. But also we just need to get back in. That's just, right. We just need to get back in. Get back in. That's the mm -hmm. key. When you fall out, you've got to get back in. And if we, hey, listen, if we can get back in the Champions League. <laughs> Great. Even, that's, that's a jump in progress for us, really. Let's be honest. Because at the start of the season, it'd be interesting to hear where Taiwo thought we would finish at the start of the season. Mm -hmm. Do we want top four? Of course, of course we want top four. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? Who doesn't want top four? Right. But whether we get top four or we get in the Europa, do you know what? I'll take it. And then we go again in the summer. It's a stepping to stone. To strengthen. Yeah. Considering where we've been as a club. Matty Kay is now singing the Pointer Sisters out loud, which is great. Um, we have a couple of housekeeping issues. Uh, football prizes have a good one back on the books. How the king, about, let's king, get rid of this. Look at that. It, the auction ends next Thursday. Grab it now. I will be giving a free ticket away next week. Thierry Henry on your wall. You could kiss it in the morning. You could pray to it at night. Amazing stuff. And I have something to report. How about this? He's done it again. Oh, for God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, I can't be dealing with this. Jags, he's at it again. Look at them little ones. Beautiful. Look at them little ones. Beautiful. Jags with these beautiful babies. They're so adorable. I love how they love getting their picture taken with the Arsenal memorabilia. This was the one Kev signed by the captains, Vieira, Tony Adams, and Jags won it. Who doesn't want to be sitting next to Jags on an aeroplane? <laughs> I mean... He's... He sits in the black box, he does. I'm telling you, look, they just can't believe it. The squaddies are like... <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm Jags, come on. You're breaking the system here. <laughs> come on. I tell you something. He needs to be part of our coaching squad. I mean, he needs to be like at every Arsenal game. I mean... No, we, that, that don't work. So it's got... It only works with football prizes for Jags. <laughs> it's really not rigged. He's, he's, he buys tickets, he invests, he loves it. It's a good deal. Like You can pay five bucks and maybe win this kind of yeah, stuff. Maybe. You muted, Kev. <laughs> you got so excited, I think you muted yourself. You're on mute. No, I can't hear you. It's, what happened? There you go. I think, yeah, no, go back to what you were doing before. What happened? Can you guys hear Kev? Can you hear us? Can you hear me? He's breaking some code. <laughs> Can't hear you. No. But I'm going to put another picture up while you figure it out. Okay. Are you guys ready for this? Listen, watch this picture. So Jags is at his five-a-side game the other night. Okay. So he wins this, and then he's at the five-a-side game, and look who he runs into. <laughs> he ran into Xhaka. Kev. Hello. Look, look who Jags ran into at his five-a-side match the other day. <laughs> oh, nice one. Nice one. Nice one. He said he was lovely, and of course, um, I can vouch for that because I've met Xhaka too, and... Um, you know, he's a nice guy. There, I look a little bit taller with Xhaka. So, and he said that he was with his friends. He went to see his friends play five aside, and he took time out to talk to him and say hello. Lovely. Uh, yeah, isn't that lovely? Nice. nice. Yeah. That's nice. That's so nice. He's a nice lad. Hey, Sophie, you, you know the way I feel. It's just because of what he done. But that don't, yeah. that's not saying he's not a nice guy. He's a nice guy. Yeah. He's a nice guy. Yeah, definitely. So, nice. Bloody hell, I'll tell you what, Jags. i tell you <laughs> what. He gets some luck, this guy, doesn't he? I tell you, totally. I'm not a dwarf. Footballers are tall for crying out loud. I mean, Jack is pretty tall. You should see the picture of me with Carmelo Anthony. That's crazy. Well, that, that must be mental. What is Carmelo Anthony, 6'8"? Yeah, I mean, I'll show, six, I'll, eight, I'll show six, it next nine. week. 6'8", 6'9", isn't he, Carmelo? Is, wow. This is as bad as the Mertesacker picture. <laughs> 
I want a tan. I, I want the summer to come back so I can get my tan back. But Jags, thanks for sharing those pictures. If you guys have great pictures you want to share, players you run into on the street, um, anything that you love, send it to me and Kev, thehybridsquad at gmail.com, thehybridsquad at gmail.com, and we will share them. Thanks very much. They look so much better in the summer. I mean, you know, uh, always, always, always striving for that tan. I should have a photo. I bet I'm, I bet I'm taller than Torreira. Yeah, I bet you Listen, are too. <laughs> all, all great things come in small packages, don't they, Kev? Uh, Let's do be they? honest. All right, okay. <laughs> Oh, well, oh, well God, here we go. Do they? Oh. <laughs> here we go. Uh, Kev, when I put this up earlier, everyone was saying that you look like an R&B star. Yeah, uh, look at that. Well, some, some, uh, what, some boys to men. Yeah, or, yeah. Or, or was it Tevin Campbell? You remember Tevin yes, Campbell? Yes, a little Belle day. Biv DeVoe, you know what Bell I'm Biv saying? Belle Biv DeVoe, yeah, <laughs> Belle Biv DeVoe and all that. I'm not being funny. You haven't really aged that much. I mean, seriously. And I tell you, the boys are spitting image of you. They really are. Well, Ty I, I, Tyrese I is... I couldn't deny them, could I? Yeah, <laughs> yeah no. I couldn't deny them too. Yeah, they... <laughs> I'm not sure who's more handsome, but Tony, Tony Tone vibes. Drake. Oh, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tevin Campbell, we got the Jacksons. Luther. Yeah. Ba, 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 oh, ba. I was listening to Lu a lot of Luther today. Funky Friday, Stevie Wonder. I was listening to Stevie Wonder today, so... Love it. And, and you know, do you remember what I was listening to yesterday when we came on, Sophie? Cooling the gang. Oh. Celebrate good, good times. Come, Come on. on. Du, and then, du, du, du. Didn't they it's sing Get sin. Down on It? Yep. Get Down on It. Yeah. Great. They've got a great, great, greatest hits. Absolutely brilliant. Love it. Brilliant stuff. I was listening to a bit of Donna Summer the other day, Kev. Oh, fantastic. She fantastic. was a hottie, wasn't she, Donna oh, Summer? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. Nice one. Alexander O'Neill. Used to yeah. love him. Mm. <laughs> What did you say to make me <laughs> learn? <laughs> this guy is he's such a dick. <laughs> this guy is such a prick, isn't he? Let's be honest. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I will young Will Smith coming up as well, Kev. Young Will Smith. Can you hear me? Or have I yeah. lost you again? No, oh, I can okay. hear you. I can hear you. Yeah. You just didn't think that was funny at all, did you, Kev? Yeah, but he's not a singer, so was was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand yeah. what I mean? It's just. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's that's a that's a donut. That's a donut move, isn't it? <laughs> well, he is a donut, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, well, that exa exactly. That's a donut move. <laughs> Casey and the Sunshine Band. That's what Casey's band would have been called. All right, that's it. That's all we've got for you today. Absolutely brilliant stuff. We've lost your sound again, Kev. What is going on? It's a good time to end the show. Can't can't hear you. You, you got to be got to be here for the outro. But here we are. Um, I'm popping over to Lee Judge's TV uh, next for a bit of talk oh, with no. the boys. And you're there and Tom Canton. So come over, swing by if you still want uh, a little bit Some of football podcast chat. talk and football yeah. chat. Come join us, Kev. What are you up to this weekend? Are you covering uh, any games? Yes, I am. I'm, I'm I'm actually doing the Everton Man City game tomorrow. Oh, oh gosh, Everton. They're in, they're in trouble, Kev. Yeah, Kev's gone. A silent salute from Casey. Great show. Thanks so far. Nah, yeah, Abel, come on. Be well, squaddies. Always love watching you and Kev. We love you I'm too. Back. You're back. Let's do it real I, quick. Let me do it real quick. Sorry. <laughs> something's going on with this computer. It wants me to get out of here. But you know what? We gave you a bit more yesterday. Sophie's got to get across to Lee Judges TV. Follow her across. And I love you, squaddies. Enjoy your weekend. Tell everybody who's nearest and dearest to you that you love them. Send them a message, even if it's just hello, love you. Take good care. We love you. Look after yourselves. And at ease, squaddies. At ease. Take good care. Mind the gap between the train and the platform. Please stand clear of the discussion doors. The next stop is Highbury Squad. Say.